Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today we're going to be doing a little project which is a make and take that I sent all of my customers in December. Um, but at the same time, we're also going to be having a look at some of the products that are coming up in the brand new Handmade For You catalogue that comes out on the 3rd of January, which is not very far away at all. Um, so some of the products that I have used in the make and take and for this project we're going to make, I just thought I would show you that it makes it much easier and then you know what's coming up. So they have a range coming out called Dress to Impress. I'll just get rid of these ones here to begin with. Now, in this Dress to Impress range, there's some beautiful, um, gorgeous papers. Some of the papers have um, handbags and shoes and makeup and things on them. But the ones that I... See, that one's got lipstick and things. But the ones that I particularly love are these floral ones. They remind me of the watercolour floral look that's very much um, in, in trend at the moment. Um, so there you have some perfume bottles and the handbags. Um, but yeah, it's these florals that I am just absolutely in love with. They're just stunning, absolutely stunning. They're just, um, yeah, beautiful. So it's a six by six paper pack, and now I've made a mess of that one, but I do have a brand new one here underneath because I've been playing with that one. Um, I just wanted to make sure I tell you how many are in there correctly. So there are 48 pieces. So there are 12 designs and you get four of each of the designs. And you even have some little plain ones in there like this one here. Um, but yeah, these florals are just to die for, in my opinion. So yeah, another great, beautiful paper range by Stamping Up. They've really, really nailed this one. But what they've also done is they've made some coordinating products to go with them. So they have this beautiful um, ribbon. This is the sheer linen ribbon it's called there's 10 yards of it it's an eighth of an inch wide which is 3.2 millimeters and it's in mint macaron so it's got a very different type of feel to some of the normal ribbons it's just um yeah beautiful so that's those now also in that range they have some gorgeous little tassels aren't they gorgeous they're just beautiful um so you get three, six, nine, you get 18 in the pack um, in the three different colours, the pink, the white, and the pretty peacock. So, yeah, they're beautiful. And they coordinate, of course, with the whole range. Now, the other thing that you get, sorry about that, I've knocked my, my um, camera there. The other thing that you can get is this beautiful Best Dressed Note Cards and Envelopes pack. Now, these are just stunning they come um they're three by three cards and then you get these beautiful little envelopes with them as well they're very cheap i can't remember the price let me just have a quick look and i can tell you that they were so so cheap um well i thought they were i thought they were really really well priced especially when you can make beautiful little you know gift sets of cards to give to people for very um cheap cost. So what you get in it is you get 24, 24 cards and 24 envelopes for $14. How's that? That is amazing. So, so cheap. Now, the shape that is on here, you can see that shape there on the front of the little envelopes, this one here. That shape actually comes from this other range, which sort of you know, you know how stamping up stuff will, you know, go with each other. Well, this is a so sentimental range. Um, so you have the so sentimental stamps, and then the stitch so sweetly dies, and they go together. But there's that shape. You can see there's that shape there, um, and it sort of, you know, coordinates with the two ranges. So I have used in my make and take kit for my customers some of these shapes here in the kit. So I'll show you those in a moment. Um, but yes, back to these, you get 24 of them for $14. That is really, really cheap. Um, so the little envelopes all have a beautiful little printed inside and also on the outside. So my customers got three envelopes and three cards and each little card has a little splodge on it. You can see there, splodge of colour. Um, and... Yeah, they just make beautiful, beautiful um, instant cards. So I'll just pop all those off to one side for a second and show you the Dress to Impress stamp set. 
and the Dress to Impress die set. All dressed up, it's called. Um, now, the all dressed up die set comes with two sheets of dies. So you get this one here, so you get a sentiment die. You get these two flower dies, which go with these two flowers here on the stamp set. Um, you also get all of these little ones here. That's the perfume bottle. Um, you also get the shoe, which is over the here, and a lipstick. And then you get a die to make a handbag. Now, I've seen many of those on YouTube that have been done with the little buckles here um, and the little buttons. So we will have a go at that down the track. But for today, I just really wanted to show you what they look like, give you some idea. And we will have a play with them another time. But yeah, um, in you go. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the stamps from those two stamp sets and we're going to use the little kit that I sent out to my customers. Now you too can get a free make and take. All you've got to do is purchase from me. Every month, the people that purchase from me get a free make and take. So they get the kit like this and then they'll also get access to the instructional video. Sometimes they'll be like this and they'll be public and sometimes they'll be a private video which they'll be sent direct. But either way, um, these go out to my customers free of charge, along with some other goodies they also get each month. So, um, yeah. You need to use the hostess code, though, to be eligible. And the hostess code is always on my website, craftwithfee.com, which is, you'll, you'll find the current one there. So what they got was a pizza box. Now, we sell these pizza boxes in a pack of eight for $10. And I'll show you how they come. They come in a box, uh, in a pack like this. So you get you get them all like that. Um, and they're in our annual catalogue. The order number for those, if you want, want it, is 144645. And it's, yep, yeah, they're a stock standard item that you can purchase all of the time. They also got a one inch um, strip by the length of a piece of A4 of this cardstock here. They got the three cards and three envelopes. And then I've cut them out a few little sentiment splotches there splotches, you know what I mean, die cuts. Then I've got the two die cuts here, which are going on the top of the box. And then we've got these other couple of colored ones here. So I don't really know how I'm going to put it together yet, but we will figure it out. But first off, we're going to put our pizza box together and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we need to do to begin with is we need to just score all of our folds. Now these little boxes um, are very strong, but you can't use just um, snail because they just won't. They just won't stay together. It's not strong enough for these. So what I tend to do is I tend to use the snail. I'll just fold that one down there like so. And then I also use the wet glue as well. So to begin with, we're going to put the snail on these two flaps here like that. And the idea is to have those two up like that. So they're going to sit inside there like so. But what we're going to do, because as I said, that won't on its own stick down, we're also going to use some wet glue. And then we're just going to put that little flap down inside that little slot there, down into that, into there. Make sure that you've got it sitting onto a flat surface so that you've got it nice and straight and that your front is sitting at right angles and you just need to sit there and hold that for a second. Um, just till that wet glue adheres a little bit. So the snail sort of helps to keep it in place to begin with, um, but the wet glue is what's going to give it the strength that you require to make it into a fully fledged little box. Okay, so then we're going to apply some wet glue all along this front here. And then we're just going to fold that down and then we're going to slot, slot those little slots down into the bottom in there and we're just gonna hold that in place as well. Now, of course, you can also if you don't want to sit there and hold it, I'll just grab my clips. You can also use bulldog clips or 
these bulldog clips or some little clips like so if you want to also use those to help hold it in place so you're not just sitting there waiting for glue to set. That's just about got that. So now we're going to do the same here. We're going to apply a little bit of snail to begin with. And then we're also going to pop some wet glue onto those ones as well. And so then we're just going to fold that up like so. So it looks like a little pizza box. Isn't it adorable? It is just adorable. It really is. So as I said, you get eight of these in a pack for $10. So they work out to be about $1.25 each. So if you wanted to do, um, I'm not sure how many of these little cards will fit in here. I'm thinking probably six, six with envelopes, if you were to put them into a little plastic bag and squish them down, which means that you could get four sets of six cards out of just one set of the $14 notelet sets that will become available on the 3rd of January. So what a great way to start off your gift box for next year. Perfect, perfect way. Okay, so that's our little box put together. So what we're going to do is, that is how it closes like so, like that. But then we're also going to get our one inch strip here and we are going to take it there to around about so it's sort of centered and then we're going to fold fold it around and then that will form your and you'll see there's quite a bit of crossover there you can see that I've got quite a bit of crossover um, but now where you've got those fold marks you can now take it back off and give them a nice straight burnish so line it up so that it lays back down on itself like that and then it gives you a nice straight straight fold there you go and then you know you've got them in the perfect position now of course you could measure them um, but it's not going to be a perfect science and I find that this is a much easier solution there we go and so that is what we're going to do is to I might actually take, take a bit of that bulk off because we don't need that much on there really. So we're just going to glue that down there like that. I'll pop it around the box to begin with and we might just glue it to the top so that I can see what I'm doing. So same thing here, you can use your snail and then for a little bit of extra strength you can just pop a little bit of wet glue in there as well. And then you can line it up so that it's nice and straight. And there we go. And that will give you a little belly band, which is what we call them. Okay, now what I did do, as I said, was I cut this out. And you, um, and if you're one of my customers, you have one of these in your set. Now I got that from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So there's the matching two here that go together. They um, are designed to nest together. So I'm going to put this one over the join here. Um, so I've got the join here at the top and I'm just going to um, pop a piece of snail all the way through the center, the center of my little die cut there. And then I'm just going to pop that down on there like that. Okay, and then we're going to put a sentiment. I'm going to put a sentiment on the top here as well. So what we will do, I decided that for this, because I've already cut out the die cuts and I want um, not to muck them up, I have decided that I'm going to use oh, my Stamparatus for this. And I'm going to use, let's have a look and see... have a look and see which of the stamps we can use okay so will I can't thank you enough fit 
I think it will. Now, which one is it? This one. Okay, I think it was made to go on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my magnets and I'm just going to hold hold this in place and I want to sort of put it where my stamping's not going to be. And then I'm trying to lean over here so I can see that I've got it sort of centred there like that. And then I'm going to close the door on my Stamparatus and then pop my stamp up onto the roof. Now let me try and get this so I'm in camera. I don't want to do it so that you can't see. Now you can see that, can't you? Good. Okay. Excuse all the noise. My daughter's up there in the kitchen cooking dinner and oh my god. I can hear his pots and pans going. Okay. We've got the Memento black ink and we're going to ink up our lovely stamp here and then we're going to close our Stamparatus back up again. And there we go. So that is actually quite perfect but what I will do is I'll ink it up a little bit more just to show you the purpose of using the Stamparatus. Um, because if that wasn't inked properly the first time, by having it in exactly the same spot each time I ink, um, yeah, it's going to make it perfect. There you go. So that's made it really nice and dark there. Now, so that is just beautiful. I'll just pop that aside for a second. Um, and I'll just grab a baby wipe because I've forgotten to dampen my Simply Shammy and I haven't used it for a couple of days, so it's probably a bit um, dried up. So we'll just use a baby wipe there for the moment. Okay, so I'll just close up my ink and we'll just put that stamp aside for a moment. Now... Um, so what I'm going to do with this is I am going to turn that over and pop a few dimensionals on there. Now, if you were one of my customers um, who received one of my packages this month, you will have received some samples of not only the large dimensionals, but also the small ones as well. I sent you a sheet of both. So I really do hope that you have um, had a go at using them and that you end up loving them as much as I do because I just... I just do love them. They're just so easy to use. And when you've used these, you won't go back to a cheap brand. Well, even though these aren't expensive, I think I've told you before, they work out to be two cents each. And the smaller ones work out to be less than a cent each because these are $6 um, for 300 for this size. And the smaller ones are $6 as well, but you get 720 of them. So super, super cheap. Okay, let me just put this in front of me so that I can try and get this fairly strange. I have dreadful trouble getting things straight when I'm on camera with you guys. Whether or not you make me nervous or whether it's because I can't put my head over. I think that's actually what it is. Um, yeah, but anyway. There you go. Isn't that cute? Now, of course, you could um, put some, so you could pretty it up with some embellishments, which we might do. Now, I might just go ahead and use up some more of my gold glitter and enamel dots that I've got left from the Christmas rose set. They are still, of course, going to be used just because Christmas has been and gone. Doesn't mean we can't keep using these things. So we're just going to pop that one on there. And then we'll pop this one there. How does that look? Pretty cute. Okay, let's get these little cards done. So of course, if you if you don't have um, if you if you if you aren't going to be purchasing this stamp set, which fits perfectly on this 
um, cutout that I have sent you, you can of course use whatever stamp you want. It's big enough for you to be able to put on there whatever you want to put on there. Okay, so pop the box to one side. Now let's get out another of our little sentiments here. So this one is also from that same, that same range here. So it's this one here from the Stitch So Sweetly. And same thing, we're going to use our magnets just to hold our little sentiment here in place. And, oops. And we'll get our other little sentiments out here as well. So we've got that one there. Now let's choose. Let's choose something that's going to fit onto there. Um, hello, baby. How about that? Um, Oh, what about this one? Hello Fabulous. Now, that sounds all right, doesn't it? So this one is a photopolymer stamp. So we are going to pop that down where we want it. So about there. That looks about that right. Some pieces here everywhere. I'm not very well organized, am I? Um, now, what color shall we use? Let's use a nice strong color. Let's use Melon Mambo, a nice strong pink. Okay, so we're just going to ink that up. Now I've managed to get ink here everywhere. That's easily fixed. We'll just do that. Wow. That's cute. How cute is that? That is beautiful. Very happy with that. Okay. Now the trouble with these dark inks, of course, is that they do stain the photopolymer, but they don't harm it at all. So don't stress about that. If you now have a pink stamp, no drama. Okay, let's do these other ones. Now, this one is tiny. So this is really going to test our stamp writer's skills, isn't it? Um, oh, you don't want to do that because they're impossible to get apart. <laughs> okay. There we go. Behave yourselves. Right. Okay. So now let's use the Hello Baby. We'll use Hello Baby on that one with the little love heart. I'm pretty sure that's going to fit. Looks like it's going to fit. Okay, what colour will we use on this one? Let's go for... Gorgeous Grape. Now I've noticed that this has moved a little bit. I might just um, close this up and make sure that I've got it in the right spot again. No, not really. Okay, so we'll just quickly ink that one up. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Okay, start again. Got to try and not get it all over the place. That's better. That's much neater. There we go. Done. Give it a clean. 
And then we've just got one more sentiment to ink up. I'll move that one out. So we've got this lovely, lovely rectangle here. So just put one of our magnets on each corner. Now let's find uh, this calls for confetti. I quite like the sound of that. So we will put it around about where we want it, which is about there. Same thing, close up our Stamparata store. Lovely. Now, this one we might do in, what will we do this one in? Let's go with pear pizzazz, just because it's handy. Just wipe off that little bit of ink there. There we go. Perfect. So if you haven't seen the Stamparatus in action before, I hope you're impressed because it really is a great piece of um, equipment. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, pop that out of the way. Now it's time to put these couple of cards together. So of course we've got the beautiful little envelopes that go with them. So we will use the matching card with the matching envelope. So we're just going to use our bone folder and just give them a little burnish down the centre just to reinforce that fold. Okay, and then we can just choose which, which um, of these to put on which. So... That one looks pretty good on there, I think. And I had decided that that was going to go on there like so. So we shall use a bit of snail on the back of there. And as I said, we're going to put it up a little bit higher than... A little bit higher than the little splodge there because we still want to be able to see our little splodge. And then we're going to use a couple of our dimensionals. Maybe just two, I think, for that. Okay, so that's that one there done. So now we shall do the yellow one. going to go with that on there like so and this one here so now these two are the same shape so I'm going to offset them and that's what I, I got them for to do them like like that but of course you can you could even um, swap them over if you wanted to and do them vice versa so you could pop that one on there and you could pop this one here like that, if you wanted. Actual fact, I like that. I might do that too. Let's do that. So I just, um, yeah, cut some shapes out randomly so that my customers could have a look at the new shapes coming in in that range. Um, yeah, and the creative um, inspiration is going to be left entirely up to them. But of course, these card sets um, are just open to, to um, you know, using them any way you wish. You can do them very complicated or you can do them very simply depending on what you want to do but they would make a fantastic gift and as I said the fact that you get 24 in the set means that you can make um, you know multiple lots of these beautiful little sets um, very very simply okay so we're going to pop our yellow one here like that and now we'll just quickly do our little pink one Now 
No right or wrong way of doing this, of course. You can um, do it however you wish. I'll just put one, I think, on the middle of that one there like that. And then I'm going to offset this one here. Just so that it's up you come, even with the edge there. Like that. So there we go. And then, of course, they're going to sit in our beautiful box. And you can, of course, theme them so that they're all thank you cards or whatever. But, um, yeah, super, super easy, super quick. Um, and, of course, by using some of these beautiful dies, as I said, that come in this set, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and, of course, with the beautiful sentiments that you can add as well, um, you know, they make a great addition to your sentiment collection because they're so versatile, you can use them with anything. But, yeah, these, these cards, I highly recommend that you get them. I'm going to make a prediction, and I'm going to say that they're going to sell out pretty quick because... Um, they're fabulous. We were only able to purchase, I think, two sets, and that's all I have of those. Um, and, of course, most of them went out to my customers, so I will be purchasing some more. Anyway, there you go. Um, oops, sorry about that. I um, I really do hope that you enjoy watching this, this, you know, little make and take, and that when the time comes, in a few days' time, when you can purchase these yourself, that you take advantage of it and, um, and buy some. And, of course, don't forget the pizza boxes that you can find in our annual catalogue. Until next time. See you later. Bye.